I mean, I'm all. I mean, I'm sure color science. I'm sure color science across the board is. I mean, I've worked in color for years. Color is pretty like standard. You know, you've got like sharpening this, that, that, and these things. I mean, a lot of this makes sort of sense. Dynamic range compression, but there's like a standardization. If I go into a DaVinci Resolve, for example, and I look at the color tools, the wording of the color tools makes sense. You know, or you give it a word name. I mean, so some of the stuff in here is just like. A meridian form, I don't know all that is. Haze remover, that's fair enough. Contrast by detail level. Yeah, okay, let's have a look at our girl. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Double click. Yeah, not liking that, is it? Let's see if there's anything that can be done. Anything. Auto levels. Okay, I mean, this is going to kill it, isn't it? Somewhere in here, there'll be some controls to do something. Where's the color controls? Gamut compression by channel mixer. Red, we don't any of that, do we? This is annoying. See, it's not reacting. And why isn't it reacting? You know, someone's gonna write the code, you're doing it wrong. No, it should really be easy. It should be so simple. So, I don't know. So I'll give it up with that. That's not brilliantly intuitive. I'm sure it's a fantastic tool, but I'm not really sure about that. Anyway, okay, so let's try dark table. I've got a lot of Let's let's just try that dark table. Okay, far out. Application not responding, not a good sign. 